This is 1998's version of a smartphone, and it does look pretty cool. This will not be a deep dive into this device, but rather an overview. You can see here it's attached to a docking station. The docking station doesn't do much though. You can have two cables connected to it, the power and serial cable, so you don't have to take those two cables out. You can just push this button and remove it from the docking station. And it has a pen holder. Even if it doesn't do much, it looks nice. This is the HP Jornada 680. It has 133 MHz CPU from Hitachi, 16 MB of RAM, upgradable to 32, 640x240 screen resolution, internal modem and IR, internal microphone and speaker, PCMCI slot, and a compact flash card slot. You can see here it is running Windows CE, and right away I love what I see. It has a user interface of a real computer. Now I love my modern smartphone with all of its modern features and capabilities, but it doesn't feel like I'm connected to it completely. I don't feel I have full control over it. The only thing I'm controlling is the shell, and it doesn't remind me of a regular computer. With this old device here, although more inconvenient to use, I feel like it's a real computer, squeezed down in size. This is something I really lusted after. A computer small enough to put in my pocket. I could use it when I'm on the bus or out camping, sitting in the backseat of my parents' car. If I would have gotten it though, I might have been disappointed at first. It looks like Windows 95 or Windows 98, but it's not. I can't just install games and programs I would use on my regular computer. I have tried to find some games and programs now, but I didn't find anything interesting, and the links wouldn't work and so on. It has most of the software you would want already installed. Productivity software like Word and Excel, you can schedule appointments and synchronize files, and you can play solitaire, and that's fine. But look at how slow this animation is. I used this as a benchmark before back in the day, and this looks like a slow 386 or something. You also see that the screen is not suitable for games, other than card games or really slow games, but it was not designed for games in mind. With a network card you can connect to the internet, however for some reason I can't get an IP address. Perhaps I need some new drivers or something, so that doesn't work right now, at least with this operating system, because I learned that there's also a more modern operating system I could use. The Linux distro JLime. You still boot up with Windows CE and launch Linux from a compact flashcard. And here internet works fine, or at least it works. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that little introduction. And um, I don't know what to do with this device though. Do you have any tips for fun stuff I can use this thing for? Productivity is not that fun. Like the calendar. Or uh, the games here. I can install some more card games and such, I'm sure, but that's not fun for me. And I know there was one guy I saw on YouTube who played Doom on this thing, but it was unplayable. Even though I don't know what to do with it, I do like this device. It is an interesting device, because it has a compact flash card, or the compact flash card slot, and the PCMCIA slot. It has a serial port on the back here, and you can expand it quite a lot. You can upgrade the RAM to 32 megabytes. 
and um, you can also install a PCMCIA graphics card with VGA output. You can connect the printer to it. I mean, it is an interesting device. It also has IR, IR um, uh, light, LED light here, so you can transfer files that way. So I like this thing. I just don't know what to use, what to do with it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. And I want to show you one more thing. It has a voice recorder here, which is, yeah, not that great quality. Um, just press and hold in that button there. Now I can talk, blah, blah, blah. Please subscribe and all that good stuff. And I can just also press play here. Yeah, so absolutely terrible. <laughs> but it's... It would have been fun in 1998, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time.